like more than twice Same song, but brand new Number 10 is I'm the Villainous, so I'm taming the final boss Aileen Lauren Dutriche's life changes forever on the day her engagement with the Crown Prince Cedric Jean Elmire is nullified so he can be together with Lilia Rainworth. The event triggers Aileen's memories from her past life, she has been reincarnated in an Otome game as the villainous, who is destined to die in the final act. To prevent her predetermined demise, Aileen has only one option, to court, the game's last boss, Claude Jean Elmire, the proclaimed Demon King and Cedric's half-brother, and marry him. However, it is easier said than done, as Claude distrusts her intentions. Instead of giving up, Aileen adamantly tries to win his heart by helping Claude fulfill his wish, to build peace between humankind and demonic beasts. But time is running out, and it is up to Aileen to change the course of not only her tragic ending but Claude's as well. This anime is worth watching because of the comedy and the plot. Number 9 is Parallel World Pharmacy. When pharmacologist Kanji Yakotani died, he probably wasn't thinking he'd be reincarnated as a boy apprentice in a medieval world. The distinguished medical researcher finds himself now surrounded by quack medicine swindling the common good. With his past experience and a new set of supernatural powers, he'll go from cutting-edge medical technology to now reforming healthcare for all. If you like the concept of isekai, but don't like how it focuses on the same tropes every time, you'll enjoy this quite a bit. Number 8 is Trapped in a Dating Sim, the world of otome games is tough for mobs. Blackmailed into playing a dating simulator set in a matriarchy, an ordinary man must put up with the unbearable and convoluted world until he clears the game. After countless days of grinding, he finally manages to beat it, but his hardcore gaming comes at a cost, extreme sleep deprivation and hunger. While heading out to the convenience store to solve one of these problems, the man tumbles down the stairs and falls unconscious, only to wake up to the worst possible realization, he has been reincarnated into the game as the mob character Leon Fu Bartford. Now trapped in a world he despises, Leon must use his knowledge of the game to navigate through the plot safely and sustain himself in a society where the odds are heavily stacked against him. This anime is worth watching because the action is solid and there is a decent level of unforced humor. Number 7 is How a Realist Hero Rebuilt the Kingdom Part 2. With the subjugation of the Principality of Amadonia accomplished, Soma, the provisional king, begins the post-war cleanup process with his next move, Project Lorelei. It is an entertainment program that uses the Jewel Voice broadcast. It was originally only thought that this program would amuse the people of the kingdom, but it is being broadcast in Occupied Van, too. What does Soma hope to accomplish with that? Then, when Soma takes some time off to rest in the capital of Amadonia, Van, with Juna and Tomoe, he encounters Jean Euphoria, the younger sister of the Empress of the Grand Chaos Empire. What sort of negotiation does the realistic Jean, who supports her idealistic sister, have in store for Soma? The anime is worth watching because the characters are unique in their ways. The story is fun, and it is rare for this kind of genre. Number 6 is Tensei Shitara Kendashita. A nameless sword wakes up to discover he has been reincarnated from his former life as a human. With his power of telekinesis, he moves around this new world, acquiring several skills and abilities. When the sword comes upon a forest filled with monsters, he meets a young girl fleeing from a beast. Grabbing the sword, the girl easily defeats the monster. After introducing herself as Fran, she names the sword Shisho and officially becomes his wielder. The two set out to become adventurers, but unfortunately for Fran, she is a member of the Black Cat tribe, a beastkin group with a bad reputation. No member of this tribe has ever evolved into a mightier beast, but Fran plans to be the first and achieve her parents' dream. As Shisho promises to remain her sword until she attains her goal, they form an unstoppable partnership of impressive strength. This is an isekai with care and class, that makes it an enjoyable watch from start to finish. Number 5 is Uncle from Another World. 17 years ago, Takafumi's uncle fell into a coma, but now he's back like a man risen from his grave. Soon, Takafumi discovers two bizarre things, his uncle treasures video games above all else, and, while comatose, he was actually transported to another world as some heroic guardian. Now, not only does Takafumi have to room with an uncle who is literally magical, but he also has to catch the guy up on two decades of history, smartphones, high-speed internet, modern anime tropes, and the traumatic outcome of the 90s console war. This anime offers subtle comedy that will bring about chuckles in the generation that came of age around the time Takafumi's uncle fell into a coma. Number 4 is Welcome to Demon School. Hiro Makun Season 3. Following their heroic efforts at Walter Park, 
The students of the misfit class return to Babel's demon school after their summer vacation. What awaits them is not only adoration and admiration but also the shocking revelation that, in order to stay in the luxurious Royal One classroom, the entire class must be promoted to Dalit rank before entering the second year. As the harvest and music festivals are right around the corner, there seem to be ample opportunities to rank up. Doing so will not be simple, however, as no class thus far has managed to accomplish such a feat. Hoping to give the misfit class a chance to achieve the improbable, the school appoints special tutors to aid in confronting the challenges that lie ahead. With his sights set beyond all it, Hiroma Suzuki decides to take strides toward the goal of ranking up, starting with gaining acknowledgement from his special tutor, the short-tempered and selfish Pachiko Barbados. This anime has great comedy although, it may start slow, then it starts picking up pace fast. Number 3 is Ascendance of a Bookworm Season 3. Winter is approaching, and Mina, now an apprentice priestess, must prepare for her stay at the church and the upcoming dedication ceremony. However, due to her immense knowledge and an extraordinary amount of mana, she has garnered the attained dangerous people, who are willing to do anything to get their hands on Mina. To keep her safe, the head priest assigns Mina a bodyguard and advises her to be adopted by a noble, a decision that will force her to leave her family behind. As Mina is opposed to the idea, the head priest gives her an ultimatum, she can be with her family until she turns 10. But if she is deemed too unstable, she will immediately be dealt with. Placed in a tough position, Mina is uncertain about her future. Despite the twists that may lie ahead, she will do whatever she can to protect those that she loves, even if it means giving up on her dream. This anime is worth watching because the series wastes no time in getting back to business. Number 2 is Overlord 4. Irandal, the capital city of the newly established Sorcerer Kingdom, suffers from a dire shortage of goods. Once a prosperous city is known for its trade, it now faces a crisis due to its caution, or even fear, of its king, Ein Zulgaon. To make amends, Ein sends Albedo to the city as a diplomatic envoy. Meanwhile, the cardinals of a slain theocracy discuss how to retaliate against Heinz after his attack crippled the Riestai's kingdom's army, plotting for the Baharuth Empire to take over the Sorcerer Kingdom. However, when Emperor Jaircian of Runefar Lord Elnix arranges a meeting with the theocracy's messengers at a Colosseum, he is confronted by none other than Heinz himself. With their secret gathering now out in the open, the Emperor and his guests learn that Heinz has challenged the warrior king, the Empire's greatest fighter, to a duel. With Ainz's motivations beyond his comprehension, Jai Arsienov can do nothing but watch as humanity's future changes before his very eyes. This season's must watch. Number 1 is The Eminence in Shadow. Screenshots shadow brokers are those who go unnoticed, posing as unremarkable people, when in truth, they control everything from behind the scenes. Sid wants to be someone just like that more than anything, and something as insignificant as boring reality isn't going to get in his way. He trains in secret every single night, preparing for his eventual rise to power, only to deny his destiny by a run-of-the-mill, yet deadly, traffic accident. But when he wakes up in another world and suddenly finds himself at the head of an actual secret organization doing battle with evil in the shadows, he'll finally get a chance to act out all of his delusional fantasies. With its rich world-building, compelling characters, beautiful animation, and thrilling stories, it is an anime that is sure to captivate and entertain viewers. Please like and share for more updates, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Comment what you like about the video.